ahead <laughs> lately, but, you know, it's not like these guys are playing every week, so that doesn't say too much to me. Right. But if we look at the trends, you know, two wins and then it reverses. So my read is based on so the data. So neither player has won more than twice in a row. Right. Oh, so based okay. on the data, so Duck it, has to Duck's win. time. Duck so has it's to Duck's win. time to shine. <laughs> All right, so let's see it. They strike to Dreamland. Interesting. I feel like Duck almost always ends up striking to Battlefield. Hmm. Uh, but maybe that's because most Fox players are afraid of Dreamland. Yeah, okay. I, I can totally see that. But like we talked about, s he's, he's cool with just chilling. He's not worried about, oh, I'm not going to kill Samus. He'll take his time. Right. Duck's also so good at edge guarding Fox. I want to talk about that just oh, for a second. Oh, dude, yeah. I think that's one of the things that shines about his gameplay is how good he is at closing out Fox stocks. Right. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, me too. Um, there is one other thing, and you know, I'm I'm very happy to to talk about this. Uh, Duck did beat S Fat at Red Bull. Uh, Gus and Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so, in Cruise. In Cruise, in that in that one match, but still, it was a very very pivotal match. Yeah, yeah, it matters. Okay, well, Duck pulls off to an early lead. Let's see what comes of it. <laughs> Dude, I I actually really. Oh, big shots back. You really what? No, so yeah, um, Duck was uh, Duck won this first stock. He was at high percent. He just light shielded at the edge because you know he gets grabbed. Nothing happens. Yeah, he he's not worried grab. about he's getting fine. grabbed. Oh, oh, this is he's nice. Oh, he gets his jump back though. And reverse nair, right yeah, there. To, yeah, to goes get. for reverse nair. I actually think Duck's been jumping a little more than he used to, which I think is an interesting change to his play style. Hmm, really? Um, so so he'll, what he'll do is like, at a, oh, big crouch cancel. At a lot of ranges, uh, he'll deal with things like Fox full hop by short hopping in place, and then he makes Fox jump into his like forward air or something. Uh -huh. Or sometimes he'll use like his back air, kind of like Sheik's use their back air, just as a zoning tool. And okay. I think it adds an interesting dynamic as opposed to just playing ground game. And it's helped him improve a lot, I think. OK. So I think maybe we'll look for that. I wouldn't be surprised if it matters a lot. Wow. wow big read. Yeah, that's a big call dash back. That's something that, like, I dream about doing but never end up actually doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, good, so good on S-Fat for making my dreams you come You got to do it. You got to do it. Like. <laughs> and, like, you know it's going to happen. You know, like, oh, like, Sam is just going to wave dash back sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you like, know she's going to, but it's like, do you have just, like, the... The will to run up and do it. Right. The will to, to run up and do it, I think, is a very good way to put it. Yeah, you got to do it. He's going to go for edge. Oh, yep. nice. That's the classic. That's so sick. Dude, these guys are so sick. Yeah. It's actually, like, I kind of wish S-Fat went a little bit higher, honestly, because, uh -huh. like, Samus's, like, ledge hop aerial game is not as is good. so bad because, like, yeah. she does it. She doesn't land on stage. So, like, at the very worst, like, you take the hit. Uh, but you can probably recover back onto the stage before Samus can do anything. Like, yeah, it, so it was questionable greedy. to go for edge, but I mean, Duck just read it. Yeah. Down throw. <laughs> oh. Again, that was that same exact situation. Yeah, with the, he's the, comfortable with that just because the grab doesn't get you much. Oh, oh man, oh, that upsell caught the sweet spot. Okay. Oh, Duck didn't jump nearly as far as he needed to horizontally to get that. I don't know that he could have. To be really? I, I couldn't tell, but I feel like he didn't fully commit with his double jump drift. Mm. Okay. Okay, Samus can still make this back. Yep. Bye. Nice aerial interrupt. I'm so glad Duck's doing that and then doesn't ledge cancel his upbeat. <laughs> <laughs> he got like two does, of those already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, usually Samus mains are very good at that. I've seen Duck mess it up, actually. Like, right there. Literally yeah, right there. Yeah. Commentator's blessing. Let's go. <laughs> the blessing. <laughs> Duck's curse, unfortunately. I'm sorry, Duck. Oh, you were talking about, I thought you meant the ledge cancel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Samus players mess up the aerial interrupt a lot. Okay. That's why I was so glad he... Was Got it. Ah, there we go. Yeah, he... Was that a mix-up or was that, you know, right? <laughs> like, that's that's why I hate that situation. Because her ledge hop up there is actually a very good option. Yeah. And he, he just got a there, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. So... Let's talk about how S-Fat is in the lead right now. Oh, well... Uh, is he, though? <laughs> is he in the lead, right? Like... <laughs> Is Samus at 120 even like? That's I don't a lead. Know. That's a lead. Yeah. That's a lead because then it's one more like wave dash back call out and that's the yeah. Song. But so. you know, Fox is at 90, one forward smash and like he died. He literally died to one hit there. That's Fox as well. Yeah. So I don't know. 
Well, in that sense, Fox is in that position a lot, where he's like one hit and potentially could die. Uh -huh. Samus is not often at that. Yeah, stage. that's true. So, so I guess in that sense, it, it was a big advantage that Esfat had Samus in that position. Exactly. For sure. That makes sense. Yeah, Fo Fox getting Samus to high percent makes the matchup even again. Uh -huh. Whereas otherwise, you know, it's very clearly Samus wins. <laughs> <laughs> very clear. Very clear. Based on our analysis right there. Uh, so Stadium. Yeah, pretty good pick. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good choices. I think Kalindi favors uh, Yoshi's because he just loves being able to kill Samus. Stadium's the classic Fox pick. Right. I personally prefer FD. Oh, you know... Well, okay, I'll, we, we, I want to talk a little bit about Kalindi being good against Samus. What are what are some things that, like, KGH does against Duck? Because Duck seems to have a lot of trouble with uh, KGH, uh, right? Yeah, I mean, they go more back and forth than almost anyone else, probably. Yep. Um, so I think one of the big things is his just situational knowledge versus Samus. It's actually funny because traditionally when someone's good at a matchup, it's not usually their situational knowledge. It's something like where Mango is just, he's so overall generally comfortable fighting Samus. And he plays, you know, everything overall. It feels good. He doesn't die stupidly. But Kalindi, in addition to that, has a cra crazy situational knowledge. He knows when he can shield poke Samus, stuff right. like that. He knows how to crouch cancel specific Samus options to get him killed. He's good at the matchup in the opposite way melee players have traditionally become good at matchups. So that's kind of why it's really cool to me. Okay. But uh, let's talk about what's happening. So yeah, Zach definitely. pulls off early lead. Big lead, honestly. Yeah. Two stocks ahead. That's crazy. I, I honestly think this is really hard for Samus to come back from. I almost ate my words right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I feel like just against Fox in general, like, while it feels that way sometimes, other oh. times it just happens. So, yeah. Like, right there. That's so, two socks too. I don't even know how he died. He just kind of fell. <laughs> uh, the, the threat of the, the charge shot, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I guess. Oh, this is bad. Oh, big jump oh. <laughs> He literally was down four socks to two. Yep. And he is up four socks one right now. So S-Fat's getting uh, kind of four stocked in. Yeah, in a sense, right? In a sense, yeah. Man. I can't believe you went from one stocks to two to two stocks to one. Really, really difficult uh, to climb back from. Yeah, I mean, he just made <laughs> it look so easy. I guess I don't know what I'm talking about, but I don't know. I don't feel like Zach really played that that well. No, no, I, absolutely, yeah, I mean, I absolutely not. But yeah. if he did, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, this this should not have happened. But I mean, kudos to Duck, you know, for making it happen. Right. All right, well, one stock each. <laughs> He's just drilling in Samus. I don't know, like, no one does plays melee like that besides S-Fat versus floaties. So it's really interesting. It's very like Falco-esque actually, like kind of drilling in place. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Wow, I can't believe he, yeah. he actually, like that was an actual tech chase. Yeah, yeah, Three it dash, was a read. Like, yeah, I think it was a read, down tilt, Like what? Yeah, it was sick, honestly. Oh man, this is scary. <gasps> wow, that reverse oh! dash attack. Man. The mix up. The mix up. <laughs> oh, wave dash down tilt out of shield. Oh. He's gonna get another hit. Oh, oh he overextended for, for that. Oh, yeah, man. For it all. I don't think he's dead, though. Oh! Yep, not dead yet. That's gotta be the worst feeling. Getting a big back air. Oh, man, he tries to jump. No! Oh, my God. Dude, I wanna, I wanna see a statistic <laughs> for how oh. often Samus wins a match on last stock while being off stage. Yeah. I swear it's like 80 20 Samus' favor in practice. Uh, yeah, keep, keep telling Duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he knows, though. Knows. He knows. Everyone knows. Like, every, But oh the thing, the gosh. funny part is, I think Duck knows he's going to forward air, and he does the forward air almost every time. Yeah. But just, he's good at timing the forward air. He's just good at doing it. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, Duck's up 2-0. I mean, maybe your prediction will come true where Duck can't lose this he because... He can't. There's plot armor. Yeah, there's literal plot armor. The, the prediction says you can only win two in a row. Yeah. I like the wave shine there. Oh, well, goes for the shine spike, but Samus just grabs the edge. So I like forward throw here, actually, a lot. With the edge guard? Yeah, at least put her off stage in a bad position. So I feel like off the down throw, your rate of getting a conversion is very, very, very low. Yeah, yeah. And no Fox player has ever shown me otherwise. Right. 
I'm surprised like the the down throw stuff with Fox hasn't like been lapped. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, I think I the, what the big thing with down throw is that if it was just a raw tech in place or tech roll, it would actually be very good. Right. But what it comes down to is that you can actually DI the down throw. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And now that you can DI the down throw, you have to also be concerned with which side of. Uh, Fox Samus is on afterwards, and that's not reactable. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, so that's the big reason it hasn't been super, you know, figured out or anything. Maybe, maybe the the frame data, you know, just it just can't be. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think so, but I mean, maybe you could just guess, you know. Right. And the guess isn't bad. Oh man, up against a wall. Yeah, I don't know if S Fat wants to be there at that percentage. Yeah. Just asking know. to get uh, more damage. So usually it's like when you're at high percent, you want to have your back to the tree so right. you can attack. But when you're at low percent, you're just kind of going to take a lot of damage. Exactly. There, there's no, um, the risk reward isn't really there. Makes sense. Interesting. I kind of like the back throw towards the tree. That was cool. I do too. Oh. So yeah, I was going to say, in that situation, s definitely wanted like the, the cover the, yeah, of the tree to be sure. able to take off of. And he got it once, but... You yeah, know. only once, and it didn't end up panning out. Nice spacing on his drill to not get up beat out of shield. So he's gonna go for up throw, maybe try to land it up air. Okay, so Duck goes off stage because he knows that's pretty safe as Samus. Yep. It's kind of like Puff-esque. Yeah, I was gonna say Puff, um, Peach as well. Yeah, you know you're actually safer off stage than on stage sometimes. Right. Because how, how can Fox threaten you without taking um, a huge risk uh -huh, of jumping uh -huh. off? So you just hold shield. Dude, that's the blade wise to me. Is what going off stage? Just holding shield in front oh, of someone. Just holding shield. You ain't afraid of getting grabbed, right? Yeah, he's definitely not. Bladewise is the king of um, getting not up thrown up aired. Oh yeah, because he always has the good DI and yep. either double jumps or air dodges properly. Man, dash attack wow. charge shot. That combo actually frustrates me a lot. Fighting Samus. That's a thing. Yeah, that just because it works at a very wide percent window. Hmm. It's kind of like when Fox lands like uh, you know like an up to up air on Peach at 60. And you're just like, man, we were fighting, and then just that was it, you know. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean, I said this earlier when Duck was up, but I mean, this is a hard lead for Fox to surmount. Oh no, don't fight here. I guess he won. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, Duck's fine with it. Yeah, I mean, he, he laughs. Wow, nice. Catches it. He he's just challenging that space every time. S trying to come over, because S trying to force a fight. You know. Yeah. So I mean, let's let's talk about this right now. Um, S Fat's getting 3-0'd. Yeah. Um, and you know, Duck's been. Oh man. Kind of. Man. Wow. That's it. Honestly, after uh, S Fat, like I don't know. I just felt like it was S Fat's game to. I I don't know what to say. Like he was winning. A lot game of two, games. he was. Game two, for sure. He had a big lead. Big right? lead. And then even game one was like, I felt like he was doing well. It was like pretty, pretty 